Don't you love Skype glitches? I do. Oh, that is some that is some tasty green right there. <laughs> What's that from? Oh, that's from the ratchet segment. Yeah, that that is some tasty looking green. I did <laughs> I I didn't even wait. Why is there a button here? Uh, where is it? Like move move around it's a little bit. It's right behind where we start. I don't know. Is, what does it does, do if you stand on it? Does it have collision? Yeah. Does it? Oh, and it turns green. I don't know what it does. What the hell is this? What does it do? Uh, go, oh, oh, hello. Go I just, I found the rest of the level. Did I activate the level? Is that what I did? <laughs> I, I doubt it. What did I do? Also, that's that's probably not... Oh, it, it's this. It's this door. It's another version of this button. Oh, that just exists over there. Why? <laughs> really? Why? That's so odd. Yeah, that's really weird. Maybe uh, maybe the button was there, you know, it got moved, and then someone couldn't find it, so they just wired up another button. Maybe. I, that's, that's possible. Hey, look, I mean, that person, <laughs> that person would have probably been me, so... I love... Well, you can, you it can do the Tira guy clank. It might crash the game, but give it a shot. It, it doesn't have any eyes. <laughs> It's terrifying. Oh yeah, the eyes get spawned after you. Uh, uh, if when you come back out of camera mode, the eyes will spawn. I see. Hi. Yeah, they won't let me do anything. But then at least the tur the turrets aren't murdering you, or do they not do that here? Um, I'm pretty sure they do. Okay. Uh, so they've decided to let me live. That's that's kind of them. Yeah. It's just clank. Who cares? They I wonder said. if this, this cutscene activates. Uh, oh, actually, what's in the... Like, how far does the ventilation shaft go? I wonder. Whoa, Under that is that is trippy. That is some trippy rainbow right there. This never ends. Like, how, how deep is this? It goes down long enough that they can load the next level. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's, that's the... Uh, I mean, they, uh, they... You have a loading screen inside this thing. I guess it's the same... Some, yeah, some basically work. everything else in the level unloads, and then you, yeah. you play the screen. I think you might even be able to trigger that loading screen from the debug menu. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah. But, I mean, right now you're you're in a completely separate level from the first Aquados level. Like, if you look in the debug menu in the level select area, uh, we were in... Uh, let's see. I'm Where is it? Looking at, uh, you you passed, passed it by. Right oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, my bad. Uh, so we're in Ocean Hideout level 8, but L8 Clank, that's ah, level 20. Oh, and, oh, interesting. The sewers were originally L8. called mines. Yes, because you're it's a mining segment. It's really ah, mining. yes, okay. Interestingly enough, you can't actually trigger the uh, the cutscene here as Clank. Oh, yeah, it will, uh, yeah, it's probably not activated or anything. Oh, but you can activate the ratchet thing. Yep. In, See, it's, uh, prob in... it's probably uh, like Ratchet falls a little ways in the pipe, then it teleports him back up, then he falls a little ways, then it teleports him back up. Interestingly, the uh, in ra in the PS3 version, the lighting is off in that cutscene, and it's pretty much pure darkness, so if I wanted, I could key out the black and just have Ratchet doing whatever I want falling. <laughs> you know, this, these will probably look really interesting if you fly outside the level and look at all the pipes. Yeah, I will definitely do that. I kind of want to speak to uh, the planner though. Oh yeah, I wonder how much of his scene is there. I don't know. We can find out. Oh, enough. Actually, this scene's pretty done by what we've seen so far standards. What? Oh, this changed. Yeah, what's he saying? No, not that. In my left ear, he's saying that. In my right ear, it's the cutscene where Ratchet's going, woohoo, on the way to Velden. <laughs> I was trying to work out what it, was, it, what it was, but that's what that is. That's very bizarre. That is weird. There was something that changed with the plumber here uh, and his cutscene. Like, we cut it up differently or something. Oh, oh yeah. Also, people mention this, and I didn't realize. Um, he, he doesn't have long sleeves in his armor. Yeah. He doesn't have an arm, either, yeah. when I looked at it, that scene. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah. I really like it, actually. Off, that, that, that did actually get changed, yeah. I don't know why. I like the short sleeves, but... Yeah, uh, I, I guess... guess. It... Huh. You can only activate the sewer crystals from really far away. <laughs> ah. 
fresh, fresh from, from the bowels, bowels of the king of Emoid. <laughs> That's pretty great. Uh, I want to see if... Uh, oh, oh, right, yeah, Magna Roots, I have that. that. That's right. Yeah, it's basically the same here. Well, not the same, same, you know what I mean. Um, so... Oh, but it takes a long time for the uh, Seal Crystal to actually attach to me. Oh, yeah, that's a common bug with the things that come at you like that, like the uh, titanium Whoa. bolt. The... Oh, this is uh, Whoa, hello! You spent a long time putting these here. <laughs> that's part of that room. Oh, this is so yeah. cool! Look See at this! See how they're duplicated over there? Yeah. Those, those pipes are just for decoration. Yeah. But they're part of that one piece. They get duplicated everywhere. Right, I need to... I need to get as high up as possible and look down. And hope it doesn't crash. Yes. What, what's that in the background there? Like, uh, beyond the green? Uh, that's my shadow. Shadow. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I don't know. It's oh, very... that's because... So the way the shadow system works is it's not actually doing a shadow. There's actually a... That little gray squiggly thing is an actual entity that actually exists and it's projecting itself all weird at ratchet's feet no matter you know no matter what right huh. that's what it that is very cool that is really very cool yeah that thing took a long time to put together i don't doubt it let's go a little higher just to be able to see it all there it is in its majesty Ta -da. That is cool, and you can even see like the bits that are uh, the the grey bits are the ones that you get, and the uh, bronze ones are the like upstairs, um, yeah, bonus sections, which are pretty cool. Uh, let me yep. just move yeah. forward. A yeah, tad. the two those two types of uh, those two types of pipes were it, right? And then we had the the L joint, the T joint, the the straight I, uh, and then probably a plus, that sort of thing. Hey, look, they're just grey squares now. Well, green square, well, sorry. You, when you go into camera mode, it turns on the back faces of everything. So what you're looking at is a whole lot of nothing right now. Right. Hopefully it spawns in. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I see it. Far below. Yeah, really. Really far. I'm going to land on this something. Is... It may kill me. Uh, oh, wow. That was awesome. <laughs> The that was amazing! I couldn't do that again if I tried. It would have been better if I landed on the platform with the titanium bolt, but still, that was that pretty was, amazing. That's basically pixel perfect accuracy right there. That, that is. I'm just that good sometimes. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Um, wow. Um, so we had a couple of questions for different things. Um, I'm, oh. actually, I'm actually going to go to, uh, a, I guess it would be Colosseum, the, uh, yeah, that's the Annihilation Nation. Annihilation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, we had a couple questions for both this game and some other stuff and also Ratchet 1. So I think there was, first off it was like, this is just, we're going to briefly talk about this because we've already touched on most of it. Uh, there's a glitch with the PDA where you can basically infinitely jump. Um, right, and it's, it's basically the way it's done is you go into the PDA um, in midair, then once you you go out of it, uh, horizontally slash with a wrench, jump, go into the PDA, rinse, repeat, um, and you were saying it's basically just state changes. Yeah, it's sort of like what we were talking about in the Ratchet One video with the the hollow guys or the uh, any sort of thing that takes you into a different hero state is very abusable back in the in, in these games just because of the way we had it set up there was like uh there's usually like when you're messing with things like the hollow guys or the pda or whatever there's like these weird frames where uh you know both both hero modes are active at the same time in a weird way and if you can do things in those frames you can you know totally break everything so in the case of the pda right normally when you jump Right, we know you can only double jump once and not twice. So when you put on the PDA, uh, it doesn't cancel out the fact that we know you don't jump, but it puts you in this weird hero mode where we're allowing you to swing the wrench and that clears it, right? So then you can jump, put the PDA on, lets you swing the wrench, that clears it and you can jump again. So it's one of those uh, 
update issues. Right. Um, also, the wanted poster, because uh, we were going to talk about that and never did. Yes, people kept asking. The uh, So the wanted poster, the reason we removed it was because uh, we couldn't change text in images. We didn't have any technology for that. So uh, basically, we when we had to localize this game into French, Italian, German, and Spanish, uh, we, those posters still would have been in English, which is not allowed, right? That would have made the game fail. We couldn't have shipped the game with that. So uh, because we didn't have the technology to edit texting images, we had to remove the images instead. And then after that point, there was a rule, no texting images. Right. Uh, and we kept, we kept to that rule pretty, uh, pretty well. I mean, cutscenes, there were places where we had to come up with solutions for it. But in game, I mean, that's why you see like written signs in alien languages and gobbledygook and stuff, mm. because then we don't have to translate it. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, fun, fun fact, I've noticed something different. Uh, first off, the death bots in this look so much cooler. They were gray, that's mm -hmm. quite nice. Secondly, I'm noticing every so often there's just some clapping. <laughs> I'm guessing it's on the audience that you were originally going to have here. What's more yeah. amusing is that it played immediately after I died. So it was just like, good job, it was dumbass. Well done. You died. Fantastic. That's, that's pretty great. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. I know I'm beautiful. Like the, uh, you know, just uh, like on a game show. Yeah, yeah. I love the redesign of these guys. Their color's awesome. Why did they change to be more orange? I think it's because they don't pop against the, the background in this color. Right, I guess. It's a little hard to see them. We usually tried to keep uh, different colors available for the enemies than for the background so that you, they never really got lost in the shuffle. And right. uh, those guys, you know, I mean, besides their giant arm lasers, right, they, uh, they blend in. And since they're different every time, we want to make sure you can see which one you're coming up against. Mm. So I'm sure that's why we changed it. I see. Oh, the, someone... uh, the death electricity isn't there. Oh, no, no, it's the lava's... No, the lava just appeared. Never mind. I stand corrected. Uh, man, the, uh, if, you were, if you were encountering the golden shower bug earlier in this demo, you're almost certainly going to get it here. Yeah, and I, I imagine think, so. I think what was doing it was the uh, liquid nitrogen gun. Yes, Some, I think there so. There were certain enemies... When you froze them, they uh, they just started spitting out bolts and XP. Yeah, it seems to be that way. I wonder if um, the terrible twosome is still in the game. Oh, probably. Yeah. I mean, the the by this point, we probably would have the bosses in it for the most part. I mean, maybe not the last one, like the. What is it, the Scorpion in this one? Which one is it? Yeah, Scorpio. Uh, I don't think Scorpio would be in here purely for the fact that that's only the second visit. Yeah, oh so right. I doubt there that those levels are unlocked. There should be a way to... Oh right, because uh, none of the levels that would let you unlock it are in here? Yeah. yeah that might be. Yeah, you unlock, you unlock it, I think, by clearing Dax, and Dax won't load, so... Yeah, the... It, the way it works is you either would unlock it by clearing DAX or we check to see if you had a gadget or something. But I don't think there's a gadget that would do that with DAX. Right. Because I think they were just info bots, right? But we could have checked if you had the info bot, but we never really did that. Usually what we do is uh, you'd enter an invisible volume or pick something up and it would set it would change a flag in the save file that said, Alright. Uh, has beaten Dax is equal to one now instead of zero, and then when you come into Annihilation Nation, it checks to see, you know, has been beaten once. Right. Know, is set. So that's probably why we wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah. Were there I, more quests? Uh, uh, I can't. Remember. You gave me some from YouTube comments. I can't remember what they were. Um, Let me see if I can hear. Um, there might have been another oh, one. There was, there was another Ratchet one, uh, one that I guess the speed runners do a lot, where uh, if you go into sinkable liquid like uh, quicksand, and you 
while you're drowning in the quicksand, you throw out the swing shot to a swing shot target and pull yourself out of the quicksand. Uh, and then you're invincible and you can walk through walls, but you can still stand on the floor. And I think the question was about A, why does that happen? And B, why, why is it that he can stand on the floor if he can pass through walls? So the first part is it's a state change issue, right? It's, it's basically just the same thing as uh, uh, when we were talking about the PDA. We're putting you into a weird state where we're not letting you move and we turn off your collisions so you can't get hit and a number of other things. And then we didn't expect you to be able to get out of it with this, the swing shot, even though you know there's places all over the game where you can do it. Uh, so you stay in that weird state where all your collisions are off. And then Ratchet doesn't rely on his collision to tell whether or not he's standing on the floor. Basically, at his feet, there's a little invisible line that gets drawn until it hits something. And then that's where Ratchet knows the floor is. And that act of, that never gets turned off regardless of... Because uh, uh, it's only checking for that while he's in the air, basically. Right. And if he's not in... It, you know, he's not in the air when he's drowning, so... Uh, uh, it wouldn't have any reason to turn that off. But they would want to turn off the collisions because if you were drowning in the lava and somebody shot you and it put you into the state where you go oof and play a little animation, that would probably do the same thing where it made you invincible and could walk through walls and all that. So uh, they put a bug fix in probably for that, but then you know not for the swing shot because we didn't realize it happened. in charge of the fight against Nefarious. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you said there was uh, the people were talking about Jack One, like the differences between this game and or Ratchet One and Jack One. Yeah, I had mentioned I had mentioned that we were the first ones to do occlusion the way we did it on the PlayStation Two. Uh, I didn't mean that we were the first ones to do occlusion technology. Period. Just that we were the first ones to use the trick we were using, where we divided it all up and did a whole bunch of pre-processing. Uh, and I, I think that was just the first on the PlayStation 2. So someone was asking, didn't Jack 1 have occlusion? And yeah, of course they did. Pretty much every game has a solution for that. It was just a different one than the one we were using. Like the most popular one at that time, and I have no idea if this was the one Jack used, was called portal-based occlusion. And it was where you, uh, basically you would set up doorways in the game, and then those doorways would figure out what you could see from that doorway and then it would know if you were on one side of the doorway load all that stuff and if you were on the other side don't load it basically so it was done a little differently it wasn't uh, uh it was manually set up a lot of the times and the levels were very specifically uh designed so that you had these areas where you had doors to go through stuff like that uh what ours did was it detected how the level was built based on our player metrics and then uh, it, would, it would take about two hours to run this thing, but afterwards we'd have data in memory that we could use as a shortcut so we wouldn't, you know, it could run really quickly. Uh, and then that was sort of our uh, innovation for the, the platform. So yeah, not just occlusion, but that specific type of occlusion. I don't even know what it's called, uh, but I know that most engines use it nowadays. Uh, and some engines have, still use the, the portal occlusion also. Like, I think... Um, what is it, Valve's engine? What do they, they call it? The Source engine? I think they have yeah, that. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I don't know if that's the only occlusion they have, but that's one of their types. Is uh, the, the giant missiles that rain from the sky, is that a Mike Stout trademark attack by any I chance? Didn't, I didn't invent it. Uh, what, what I did was is I loved it so much, I put it in every boss that I ever did. And I didn't do these bosses. But okay. uh, the ones that I do do, I usually have the raining missiles and uh, what was the other one? The Like when they stomp and a big ring comes out. Yeah. Like, like they're my that. two favorite attacks. Yeah, like that. Because, because they're... Uh, so in a platformer, right, when you're doing a boss battle, you want to test the different skills that the players have. Uh, and running, running around is what you test with those missiles, right? Because the... the the game is don't stand on a reticle, right? So you're, you have to, to solve this problem, you have to move around. You can't solve it by jumping. Whereas the ring can only be solved by jumping, right? Mm -hmm. So they're both very, very clear questions that are asked about the very core mechanics of your game. So I like to use them in my fights because they're the easiest way of doing that. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and you know, usually when I'm designing stuff, it's under pressure. So I, you know, I'll go for standbys if I gotta. Yeah. The, uh, the, oh, what was I gonna say? I don't even remember. It's gone from my brain. Uh, the, the robot, the guy robot from the boss, was he always called Gary? <laughs> He's called Gary in this. Gary who? Just Gary. Oh, you mean the two the two robots? Yeah. What were they called in the? I don't know. One of them's definitely called Helen. I don't remember him being called Gary. Maybe he is. But I don't remember that. Oh, I know Gary. what I was gonna say. Interestingly, in this version, it doesn't give you free ammo. It doesn't restore your ammo at the beginning of each mission. Maybe it was a Gary glitter thing. I didn't want to do that. I don't know. I do not know, but yeah, the uh, the game isn't. Whoa, that went far! <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was. I thought awesome. it was Hans and Helga. Yeah, so I I don't know where Gary came from or where it went. Yeah, I I don't know. The also I love the almost Illuminati symbol there. <laughs> that's, oh, that's, that's that's pretty great. That's the uh, the triangle button. Yes, it is. Uh, so that's Sony's Illuminati symbol, man, not ours. Okay, I need to I need to see. I need to see what's outside. I also need to see the uh Oh, I like how the shield follows me. Oh cool. Yeah, that's it's, that's right. They are fully 2D, in case you weren't aware of that. <laughs> You're also leaving a trail because the parts are off. Oh that's awesome! <laughs> you probably want to turn the parts on though, because if you leave too many it might crash the game. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. Probably a good idea. Yeah, it was slowing down. Um, hey, it's we like actually it, finally get to see outside. Which is actually... You know, in, is uh, is in that Red the City arena? <laughs> yeah, that's the arena. <laughs> uh, so you know in Ratchet 2 how when you when you go into the quick select in the Leviathan level, the their effects are still moving, but nothing else is moving? Yes. That's basically what's happening here, right? Like, the updates for the... Uh, the particles remain on for some reason when you go into the quick select pause. Right. Uh, I'm not sure why for those particular ones, but it usually means that a uh, that when the programmer wrote the effect, they weren't correcting for certain things. Like um, one of the questions we got was about the pyrocitor and why it does so much damage in uh, PAL mode on the PS3 version. It's a similar thing to why the uh, why all of this happens. It's just because that uh, normally like when you're writing code that deals with timing, like uh, you know, moving things around and all that, you have to make it relative to how many frames per second you're getting, right? So if you're getting 50 frames per second and you don't make it relative, then when you run, uh, so no normally we were playing on 60 frames a second, right? And PAL is 50 frames a second. So anything run on PAL that we don't correct for looks like it's running really fast and really weird. And that was also the case, apparently, for the Pyrocitor's damage uh, in that version, was it was just doing a tremendous amount because it wasn't correcting for the fact that it was in PAL. Right. The... I, I had a question about the Annihilation Nation and other such things. Um, mm -hmm. Because... Like, you, it's all done in one arena. Well, actually, no, before I get to that, where's the, where's the arena where you do the assault courses? Um, I don't know. Go into one and see. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, uh, so you've got, like, all, like, multiple challenges in one arena, and you've got, uh, uh, and you've got, um, multiple, uh, challenges in an assault course as well. So, like, how do you determine how it, uh, chooses that challenge for you, if that makes sense? Like, how oh, do you... they're... They're not dynamic. They're always they're, we just have them set right. Those those rotating arrows always point a specific way when you run that mission. So there's right. only one path. Right. Uh, okay. And so, so the way it works is uh, all of the paths are open, right? But we can spawn doors at specific points for each mission, and we can place enemies down that are only active in that mission. But if you were to look at everything that's actually in this file. Which, uh, actually, you know, if you go into the debug menu and turn on, um, uh, what was it? It was under draw, it's the d draw diff, I think it was called. Uh, you might be able to see, but there's a whole bunch of things 
in the level that you just that are invisible because they're being made invisible and not running during these challenges. Right. Uh, so it's over to the right under under the green draw, mm -hmm. uh, the difficulty one. Where is it? Um, tuning. Uh, tuning. Ah, okay. Black, white, blue. So which one do I want? Uh, blue's easier to see, I think. Ah, okay. Ah, yes. If you look around, there might be like a bunch, like a uh, a bunch of invisible. Uh, uh, you know, when you look at monsters in this mode, you see little text around them. Yeah. You'll probably see a bunch of it on invisible things in this level because there's some. All, all of these things are laid down over each other. Right. I see. Uh, doesn't look like it. Would I need to go into the main? You game? might need to go back to the beginning of like uh, un unpause yourself. Because right. the stuff might, yeah, but it, it doesn't look like you can see it. It must not be working the way I'm thinking. Okay. Um, to that same effect, like, how do you, like, so is it just like a simple, uh, like you, yeah, like, so in the arena mission, you've got one challenge, which is six rounds, and it's this bunch of enemies, and you've got another challenge, which is ten rounds, and it's this bunch of enemies. Like, what actually makes sure that when you, uh, click that mission it goes to that mission like and it doesn't just load another set per se because it's all in the same arena so isn't there uh, is there ever a, is there ever a point where it accidentally loads the wrong mission like in it's possible for you to set it up wrong so that things from one mission could appear in another right. but uh, the as long as you have something set up to be in a mission it can only appear in that mission right so there's a you, there's a little flag in memory that says what mission are you on and then on frame one, when you start this course, it says, okay, based on which mission you're on, I'm gonna spawn everything that says it's in mission five. Right, I see. I understand. What, what I don't understand no, is where this is. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea because it is not in the same place. Oh, you know what? It might be a chunk. This might be the first chunk we run into, actually. Please explain. But if you go outside of here, there's nothing else? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Uh, I can't see the uh, other areas. They're not there. Um, but it's the same level to... because I I still have the debug menu. Yeah, go 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 to the debug menu again. Uh, okay. Okay, so down down there where it says chunk oh, yes. zero, what are your options? Uh, one. Oh, it's, it's the music's changed. Why's the music changed? Because you just loaded the other chunk. That's where the that's where the arena is. Oh, then if you look, there's the arena. The computer, it loads back in the part of the arena you're in. Huh. So it sort of let us keep more stuff in one level instead of having to break it up and have a load. We could have a really quick transition like the one you just saw when you changed the chunk. Right, I see. I think that this... Uh, the chunk technology was invented for Ratchet 2. The first time we ever did it was, uh, you know, Maktar Casino, that arena. Right. Yeah. When you when you go into that arena, it's via a teleport because we have to change the chunk. I see. So we, we do that after it's faded down to black. We change the chunk and then teleport you into the new area. And it's just fading down to black because you're picking a mission. And it has to load the mission. Yeah, I, I, it has to load everything to do with that chunk. But that only takes you know, uh, a second or so. It's not as long as a full load, which is about five seconds. Right. Huh, that's really interesting. I can't seem to actually get to the, uh, the arena itself, interestingly enough, through the chunk. It's not showing? Uh, no, it's there. I just can't seem to get to it. It's not moving any closer. Ha, <laughs> that's weird. What, ha what happens if you go back into regular... And if I try and go down to the arena, uh... Ev the arena is covered in lava. <laughs> Everything oh, is kind of gone. It's not. The lava will always be beneath you. Like, if you keep going down... Oh, okay. Uh, no. like, I don't think you'll ever pass through the lava. I just you? did. Like, That's weird. Maybe it's just huh. because I'm breaking things. I don't know. But I'm here. Uh -huh. that's uh, that's... Yeah, I see you had to load the chunk. Yeah. Huh, that's interesting. Uh, I think, am I right in thinking there's only one level we haven't been to, and that's, actually wait, no, that's a lie, let me, I want to quickly check something before I do that, 
Um, There's also the two, the two Tyrannosis levels, the one for the... Oh, actually, the, we haven't... Not, yeah, I was going to say Tyrannosis, but we haven't been to Marcadia yet. Because we haven't been to your level. Well, right. Yes. Well, not my level, the... Well, only your, the, your, yeah. your puzzle section. My puzzle section, yeah. My level that we've been to was the water one. Yes.